Pierce, Alex Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. How you doing, guys, today? Now, you know, <laughs> I've seen a lot of equipment over the years, and I, I don't get excited too much, but I'm still not excited today. I don't get too excited, but I do get, I, sometimes I'm impressed by little improvements. This is a reel. You've all seen them. Now, this particular reel is called a um, finger reel. Am I right, Kev? I think it's called a finger reel. And they call it a finger reel because this is for cheap divers. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's for divers who, who are minimalists. Minim Did I say that right? And minimalist means you're, there's no aluminum frame, there's no crank, there's no pin, there's no brake, any of that kind of stuff. There's a plastic reel with a whole bunch of line, too much line, actually. Uh, and and uh, so what do you do? How do you crank it? Well, you put your finger through it. It's called a finger reel, you see? You put your thumb on it to stop it, and then you reel it, you reel it back like that. It's called a finger reel. So they're just great. They're for minimalists, and they have, a, they have an end to the line. They actually have two ends. Anyway, they have an end, and they have a clip, and this is it. It's just about that simple. They're inexpensive, and they work really, really well. So, so what's the deal? Well, can't get any simpler. Can't get any better, can it? Yes, it can, without getting fancy. Look at this, this is from Apex, well-known company. And, and now there's, there's your clip, same clip, stainless. I wish they made these out of brass. I should, maybe this is brass, but it's anyway stainless. And, and here's the same reel. So, so why am I excited about this? I'm not, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed because little wee things that make it better. First of all, this is made of aluminum, okay? So if you drop this, your buddy steps on it, your weight belt, your tank, whatever lands on it, it's not gonna crack. If you, if you drop this or drop your tank on it, you go buy a new one. You're certainly not gonna take all that time to wind up all the rope that's now laying on the line, that's now laying all over the boat bottom. You can, you can, the good thing about this line is it's bright orange, so it'll be easy for you to scoop up and throw in the garbage. But you gotta go and buy a new reel. Not with this one, this is aluminum. And it's aircraft aluminum. So this will fly. I don't know what that means. You hear it all the time, aircraft aluminum. I don't know what that means. I guess it means it's good. It's got, it's got serrated edges around the edge, and it's aircraft aluminum, extremely tough, all one piece. I don't know how they make that, forge or whatever. And it's a finger reel, you see? But right off the bat, I'm impressed because look, this is the thumb reel. This is a two finger reel. Why is that? Why is it? It's got a big, big hole. And that's because a lot of divers, certainly cave divers, often are wearing a lot of protective equipment, a lot of protective exposure suit, maybe even a dry suit. And if you, you guys down south, you can turn off this, this video now. But for you real divers, you know, you know that seven mil gloves and dry suit gloves are big and fat. There's no way you're gonna get a dry suit glove finger through this finger reel. So this, is, this now becomes a non-finger reel. Anyway, this is great because your dry suit glove will fit right in there. Your seven mil glove will fit right in there. Right off the bat, it's good. Aircraft aluminum, okay, serrated edges, flared, so it's easy to put the line on, not like this. It's a straight side, you see? So all that's good. But look at this. The end of the line has got a stiffener on the end. The last inch is stiff. You see that, Kevin, there? And it's actually a split line, and it's quite flexible. The end is very stiff, like a shoelace, like a long shoelace. So now you can stick it through things. You can put it into the clip. You can do things with it. If you have a normal soft nylon, braided nylon line, it's flip and flop on all over the place. It's like a piece of spaghetti, you know, and you try to stick it somewhere, it don't work. This is a great idea. The end is also highly visible. So you know where the end is. I mean, the end is at the end, I know that. But the end is easy to spot as you're reeling. Oh, I'm at the end, there you go. And one more thing that's really neat. As you tend to roll these up, what happens? You unroll them, then you roll them up. Un unroll them up. Well, they tend to twist and turn. So pretty soon they're not going on the reel neatly and straight, unless you have a swivel. Can you see it there, Kevin? Right here, right here, my finger, Kevin. <laughs> pretty neat, huh? So again, it's still a finger reel, which is, which is a great idea. If you need it, you need it. And, and it's not spectacular. I mean, I'm not gonna, this is not gonna get two million likes on Facebook, but it's pretty neat, so little improvement. So take a look, if you're looking in the market for a reel, if you use a reel a whole lot, maybe next time you might wanna get one of these. And then this one is made by Apex and uh, aluminum, uh, solid end, which I've already found is handy and the swivel all built in, and it comes to the clip as well. So once again, good reel. Same thing, better. Just said easy. 
Alec Pierce Scuba. Hope there was something in there for you. Take care.